A very, very warm welcome to everyone who's taken time out of their busy schedule to come today. And we are just blown away by where this has come with our very little idea, which started, I don't know, maybe four or five months ago with Anne-Marie and I sitting down probably on a Friday afternoon having a, a chin wag saying, you know, what are the barriers? And, and there must have been some topic of the week that brought it to the fore. And we couldn't really um, articulate it particularly well. So we thought, well, why don't we get a group of, a small group of people together to have a think about this. Um, and of course, you spread this idea and everybody was incredibly positive about it from the start. And people's names came up like Karen Vela and everyone said, oh, Karen's really helpful, really helpful. Go and speak to Karen. I think Karen's probably ruining the day that we went to speak to Karen. Um, and Karen was very helpful and said, that's fine. I, I can organize a little room in the factory for you. And they said, how many? about 50 maybe, uh, and she said, I can even get some sandwiches for you. And you know, the medical student in me was very excited at getting some sandwiches. <laughs> so um, that's what we did. And we drafted an email and we sent it out and it exploded, didn't it? So by the time we were past 300 people registering interest, <laughs> we realized that a small room in the Thackeray wasn't going to suffice. So uh, we got the big guns in, and everyone's been incredibly helpful and supportive. And, and again, it, we've just been amazed how enthusiastic people have been at a time you know, where things are difficult in both organizations, that everybody has, without, you know, without exception, everyone has been very, very supportive. And so here we are today at this gorgeous venue. And this was the biggest venue we could find in Leeds today. We couldn't move the date because obviously with people's diaries, it was very difficult. So we've managed, I think, to squeeze everybody in who wanted to be here. It may be standing room only by the end of the session, but I think that sends a really strong message to people um, of how much appetite there is for this. So why we're here, um, you've probably read the background reading. We're here because, uh, though there's been great progress has been made, there's still a way to go with achieving gender equality at a senior level both in the NHS and in academia and in the wider business world as well. So today we really want to draw on your strengths, the strengths of, of people power, um, to tell us what, what are the barriers, um, where are the barriers, and what can we do about it. And we really have no preconceived ideas of where this is going. Um, we really want it to be owned by everybody in the room and everybody else who couldn't be here today who shouldn't interest to tell us what, what we need and, and what can we lobby to get help in both organizations and beyond. Um, and there's evidence from work done in this area that more than anything, um, female aspiring leaders talk about a lack of networking and positive role models um, as a, a barrier to progress. Well, I think we have achieved both today um, and we have them in abundance today. So please use your time effectively. Uh, and we're going to have some speakers first, and then we're going to have some group work using crowdsourcing technology, which a lot of you in the room will have used before, just to generate lots of ideas in a, in a really short time, because we know time is really precious for people. So um, there's really not much more for me to say, um, other than we really want this to be a relaxed and formal day. We want you to treat it as a supersized version of going for a cup of coffee with friends and just bounce ideas off each other, brainstorm ideas, and just get everything down so that we can take it away um, and have a look and, and take the next step into something I really think is quite special. So um, Anne-Marie is just going to do a little bit of housekeeping now, and then we'll start the day. Great, thank you. Um, so just a couple of housekeeping bits and pieces. Uh, if you need the toilets, the toilets are incredibly funky. Um, they're downstairs, um, are kind of on the next level down. Um, uh, there are some disabled, uh, sorry, um, accessible toilets. I'm a mature maker. There are some accessible toilets on the first floor, so if anyone needs those, can you please let the staff know. Uh, we're not expecting a, uh, any kind of fire drill today. Um, if a fire alarm does sound, then uh, panic and go towards um, the, the doors in a, an orderly manner um, that's indicated to you by the staff. Um, what we'd like you to do now is switch your phones to silent, not to off, because we'd like you tweeting. We'd like you to tweet about the event, and we've even got our own hashtag, and we'd like to see that trending by the end of the day. The hashtag is Leeds Women. 
We are also videoing this conference, given so many people wanted to uh, attend but couldn't actually make it. So the, this conference or this meeting will be uh, videotaped and be available um, um, afterwards. So then there will be people taking photos. If you can please let us know if you're not happy to have your photos taken, we'll make sure that that doesn't happen. We've got a very tight schedule. It's been hilarious trying to put this program together because there are so many people um, who we wanted to sp ask to speak and there are so many people who are very keen um, on speaking. We've tried to design a program that is part inspirational, part aspirational. We've got some amazing um, people speaking um, today. Um, and we're, we're also then, as Jackie was saying, we've got this interactive part, and this is just a launch event. It is not, this doesn't define the Women's Network, this is just the very beginning. And a key part of this will be what happens next, and we really want your input in, into doing that. Um, we first, when we first uh, spoke about this, we went to, to see Linda Pollard, who um, has been um, quite a driving force behind getting this to the scale that it is. Um, Linda, unfortunately, couldn't be here, but she sent a message.